Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is super exciting. I am less than a mile away from the Canadian border right now and right before I left to go on this road trip I knew how close I was going to be to the border multiple times. Yesterday when we fished Lake St. Clair I slept 15 hours after that. Dude it feels like really 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 good. No it's a fish he's pulling but it's like huge. huge. Yeah. Are more than 15 hours, right? I slept a really long time. I drove like an hour after we were done fishing because Port Huron or Huron is like a really interesting way to get into Canada because you are on a massive bridge and I'm super excited about it. Here's my passport. I triple checked, I had it, which is amazing. And yeah, we're not maybe a half a mile, quarter a mile away right now. I don't know. Let's see if we can get through border control. I'm not doing anything bad, obviously. I'm just going into Canada to appreciate Canada, but we'll see. I don't know. I haven't been to Canada since our last time we went to Canada and you guys only got one video out of that. I was there for like five days and I was only able to get one video because <laughs> Because I dropped my camera on the water. I, I, I know you guys remember that. And then also a lot of other things happened too that I didn't end up telling you guys. So I guess I'll tell you guys in today's episode what happened when I went to Canada last because I'm really hoping for redemption. Redemption, baby. All right, I gotta put directions on and let's get this party started. Last time I went to Canada, we were in New Brunswick, which is about 17 hours, 15 hours from where we are right now. It wasn't the best experience. The guy was not very nice to me. I didn't record it either because I was already scared. It was my first time, but he didn't like me. So let's see if we do better this time around. I don't know. All right, here we are. How's Hello. it going? How are you doing? I'm pretty good, how are you? Yeah, just yourself? Yes. What's going on today? Um, Toronto area. Why? Yeah. Were like, you visiting somebody in Michigan or what was the point of you coming to this side of the U.S.? Maze, tasers in the vehicle? Can we have no. a look? Yeah, go for it, please. Okay. What do you have in the back? I just your morgue luggage? No, I built a platform. So you can sleep back Yeah, okay. so it's like a camper on the bed. Alright, drive safely, okay? Yeah, are you guys going to check or are you okay? No, we're good. Okay, thank you, you so much. Back. Have a good one. <laughs> we're in. We're in Canada. She was so nice, like she was hardcore, but she wanted to see if I was gonna fold when she asked me if they wanted to check the, she was like, do you mind if we check the truck and have a look? And I didn't hesitate because obviously no, like I, I understand that they're trying to protect people from bringing stuff in, you know? Welcome to Ontario, let's go. Anyways, she was lovely, but still held her ground a lot. So shout out to her. She let me actually talk too. Last guy didn't even let me talk. He would ask me questions and then like cut me off. It was great. She was awesome. All right, we're in Canada, baby. We got like an hour and 37 minutes right now and we're gonna be going to one of the ports on Lake Erie, I think. It maybe, is it Lake Erie? Yeah, we have Lake Huron right there. So sick. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We have a little bit of a drive. Tim Hortons. I got some Timbits. They actually had a lot of food that looked incredible, but I'm not starving, so I didn't get any of it. They have grilled wraps and like sandwiches and chipotle bowls. The only two flavors they had left was the old fashioned and the birthday cake. So we'll see if it lives up to the hype. Not bad. This one is the birthday cake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
That is so good. Oreo freeze coffee thingy, I don't know. I asked for no dairy, so they made it with almond milk, but then proceeded to put whipped cream on it. <laughs> Whatever. Oh dang, that is really good too. Wow, <laughs> wow. The drive-through is so packed that I can't even back out right now because there's cars behind me. This place is packed. <clears throat> I don't have the exact address of where we're camping tonight, but I definitely found a couple spots. If I turn them, can you guys see that? Right now we're in London. Okay, sorry. We drove down here. This is London, Canada, and now we're in St. Thomas, Canada, but in Ontario, Providence, and. So St. Thomas is right there, and then there's Port Stanley, Port Bruce, uh, Port Burwell. And I think we're going to Port Burwell. Yeah, we're going to Port Burwell, which is all the way over here. We're all the way over there. But St. Thomas is like the last somewhat town before we even really get there. So I'm going to see what's around here, because um, I would love to do some laundry and a couple other necessities. We gotta do some adulting stuff today. I won't bore you guys, cause we will be camping, but Dollarama, what the heck is that? Okay, we got Dollarama. And what is A&W? Why, I passed like five of these already. It has to be one of their like fast food chains. Fast food chains, chain, chains. Uh, Later. Hi, are you guys a self-serve laundry mat? We are, and we also do wash and fold. Okay, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. No variety, sir. All right, have a good one. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Yay, we found one. We're 42 minutes-ish, give or take, away from where we're going tonight to camp. Got a solid spot. Like, really solid spot. We're gonna be fishing, hopefully catching also. First things first, before we start that drive, is I have to go to a grocery store and grab uh, cheese and bread for our dish tonight that we're making for dinner. After that, we're gonna head right there, so. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go get us some groceries to make our little camping meal and then we'll be on our way. I don't know how, but it's already 2.30. But the sun also goes down at like nine o'clock now, <laughs> even though it's still so cold. 29 degrees tonight. We're gonna be camping in some cold weather. This is the coolest campsite I've ever had in my however many years of truck camping. Easily my favorite spot ever. We are out there in the middle of nowhere. There's cows all over this place, but I decided to go past a gated section to kind of not deal with cow poop. <laughs> There's just so many better camping options in Canada than where I live in the States. I mean, this is like,
Do you hear that? The only thing I hear is the dam up the road. It's like a mile hike, I'm pretty sure, but I heard it's absolutely massive. And I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I can hear right now. That and the river flowing. I thought there was a uh, catfish in here, and there is, but I guess not this time of year. I was just talking to someone else that's camping here, and he said the trout bite is on. Didn't know there was trout in here. First night in Canada, I'm blown away right now. This is the coolest camp spot I could have ever imagined in my life. <laughs> I don't know if it looks like it, but that was three hours of fishing. I got so many bites right there. It was crazy, but I didn't hook anything. And it makes me wonder if they're very, very small fish or what's the case. I don't know. I'm not giving up though, but the sun is going down. I'm gonna sit back and relax for a little bit and not overdo it. <laughs> But I'm definitely disappointed in myself right now. Yeah. I may not have caught anything, but this is so peaceful. <laughs> I heard an owl about 10 minutes ago which is weird because they're nocturnal, so I usually only hear them at night, but I mean, hey, the sun is almost down. I'm getting bites right now. I just got bit. This is so brutal. Considering we caught a muskie the other day by accident, I think I, I've done my fair share of um, getting everything this trip that I could have ever asked for when it comes to fishing. I still have plenty more fishing to do though. So I'm not worried if we don't catch anything here, but come on. This would be sick if I caught a fish in Canada. I still gotta tell you guys about what happened last time I was in Canada. <laughs> we, uh, you and I have nothing but time right now, you know? Sitting here not catching anything. Basically, last time I went to Canada, I ended up meeting this incredible guy. He's the best musky guide, or one of the best in my opinion, from what I've heard, he's the best of the best on the St. John River in Canada. We were in New, New Brunswick. He was a very hardy guy, you know? Took him so long to open up. He ended up inviting Riley and I out to night fish for muskie. Obviously, we weren't gonna say no. So the sun went down, it's about 10 o'clock, and we fished from 10 o'clock to about 3 a.m. And when we got out on the river, we so this is this is like the boat launch and obviously the parking lots right there we went down this way and about a mile on the bank you could see that there was a really large community of homeless people in tents and whatnot and the only reason why i could see them at night was because there was flashlights going on and everything and you know he lives there the guide lives there and he was like oh yeah like that's one of the biggest spots in town like they're always there whatever we get done fishing and he tells Riley and I like, oh, there's no worries. You should just sl sleep in the truck at the boat ramp. Riley and I sleep in the boat ramp. Well, in my truck. Riley's in the cab. I'm in the truck bed and I'm asleep. It's like sun just came up and I'm hearing voices, but I can't, I couldn't tell if I was dreaming or not. And I heard, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, this is so cool. Should we go check on him? And I thought it was in my dream. <laughs> I opened my eyes, 
I didn't close the curtains in my truck because I'm an idiot and I was just so mentally drained and exhausted from night fishing and it was three homeless people surrounding the truck staring at Riley and I and once they saw that I opened up my eyes and looked at them they ran off and that's by far the worst truck camping experience I've had thus far like period um, it was terrifying. And then when they saw that I woke up and they ran off, well, they didn't like run off, but they sped walk. They went down the path that led to, uh, the tents that we saw them at last, the, that night prior. And then I'm, ooh, ah, I hate this. I hate this. I don't know what they are, but they're, they're nibbling. I'm going to triple quadruple hook this. So the, then the following day, well, actually that morning that I woke up, we end up driving to another boat launch about 30 minutes away to fish with the same guide. Cause we ended up like really like getting along and getting to know each other. So we were just like really good friends at that point. He was like, you know what, why not? Let's go, let's go musky fishing tomorrow. The best guide on the St. John river took Riley and I out fishing twice. The second day that morning, I dropped my camera in the water and lost every single video of that trip. Except for us crossing the border. That's the only video I got out of it. And I had like three or four like really good camping and fishing videos and yeah, my camera was sitting at the bottom of the St. John River and about 120 feet. Yeah, I kind of like to forget that that happened truthfully because for my first Canadian experience, it wasn't, it wasn't a good one. And I'm really trying to get redemption and just have a good couple of days or weeks or however long I want to stay in Canada and just redeem myself. It was not only like the worst trip ever. <laughs> um, it was the worst truck camping experience of my life. I'm sorry it took so long to tell you guys that story. I just simply wanted to forget it happened. But I, I realize that a lot of you guys are still sitting here waiting for me to say it. And I apologize. I hope you understand that like I just want to forget it happened. Um, and learn from my mistake and just move on. Move on. I just have to be 10 times more careful about where I camp for the night even when I'm exhausted. And always close the curtains. You know? Yep. Anyways. That was a Canadian story. Good times. Good, good throwback. Good memory. Ugh. can't say this is a bad spot <laughs> so cool i'm honestly gonna leave that open for as long as i can keyword as i can it's chili willy for dinner we're making grilled cheese and tomato soup i brought this can all the way home from rhode island i actually packed it before i left because i knew there was going to be a day on the trip where i just really wanted a nice soup tonight's the night let's do it this can actually has a tab so i don't have to stab it <laughs> oh i'm so excited we got two slices of cheese that i took a bite out of I took a bite out of the cheese, it's delicious. We're gonna put it in our little press. Look at the cheese melting. <laughs> I didn't do any dishes because I forgot. So we have a lot of truck dishes to do. I don't have any bowls, <laughs> which is obviously kind of an issue because we just made soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that looks good last time we made anything with cheese in a sandwich there was no cheese pull but this actually looks like there might be a cheese pull there's no cheese pull mmm <laughs> look at that cheese pull mm, dairy free cheese so yummy <laughs> anyways just because we're fancy add some basil <gasps> I opened the wrong 
side. I meant to open that side. Okay, you know what? It's okay. Just lots of basil. Oh, wow. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot of basil. If I bend a certain way, you'll, uh, my knee will go crack, crack. I bet that was a pretty good sound effect for you guys. <laughs> This is my reward for fishing for four hours and not catching anything. <laughs> Tonight's not going to be warm. I know I've said that probably like four times already. So we're going to take out our wool sweater. This thing should keep me toasty i got my sleeping bag definitely turning on the heated blanket but i also really want to go see lake erie again but on the canadian side the water was pretty dirty in ohio on lake erie so i wonder if it's like clearer over here doubt it but you never know I'm not that far from Toronto either. Like, I'm very close to Toronto. But I don't really have a desire to go to the city. The cool thing is, is when I don't have any set plans or ideas of what I want to do, the day always turns out ten times better. Pretty much every single night this trip, I've been going to bed at like 8.30. Sometimes even earlier. It's 8.15, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I love going to bed early and waking up early. What can I say? All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I'm so tired. <laughs> Still such a cool view. <laughs> oh, dang. I don't have any connection so I don't even know if my friend can go fishing with us today or whatever I have no idea I should probably go somewhere with connection just so I can like see what the what the details are you know what's going on with everyone best camp spot I've ever stayed at in my life I'm gonna miss you it would have been even better if we caught fish but I think I will literally drive back to Canada to come back here when it's like warmer out and I will catch fish because apparently there's monster catfish in there. Ugh, I wish. Wish that I caught one. Cause this, this river is connected to Lake Erie. So the fish come from Lake Erie up into this river.